Hello, and welcome to Creative Photoshop. My name is John Ruder. We're going to explore the History Palette Part 2. And we look at the History Palette as a way to do some minor retouching, such as uh, softening the skin, enhancing uh, eyelashes and eyebrows, uh, as well as changing the depth of field and the focus on the background of our image and other parts of the image. So we're going to take a very different approach and explore using some of the creative filters within Photoshop and apply them through various history states, either through painting them in or fill using the fill command. Go to our filter menu. We're going to choose render and we're going to pick lighting effects. Uh, I'm going to take Spotlight, which is the default here, and I'm just going to rotate this and bring the light up from the upper corner. Draw this circle, the brighter it gets. Let's bring our intensity up a bit. And I also want to change the color of this light, and to do that I'm going to click on the color picker, and I want to go with a warmer color. So let's get a very nice kind of golden glow from it and just do another minor adjustment here. Okay, that's all looking good. And we'll say okay to this. And we get a nice version of a very nice glowing image of our image here. Go to the lighting effects, come down, make it a snapshot, and I'm going to title it lighting. We'll move back now to our first state, and returning to the filter menu, down to stylize and glowing edges, back to about 25% so we can get a good view of what we're seeing here. This is a filter I would almost never use in and of itself, and to make it fairly intense brightness back down a little bit. Let's smooth that out a little bit so we don't have too rough a texture in those areas. Okay, now that I see that I'm going to say OK to that as well. Again, we're going to go from here down to our new snapshot and we'll call this one Glow. OK to that. So now we've got our original version We've got our lighting version, and we have our glow version. So let's return to our original image to pick, make sure we get our history brush. And at about 50% opacity, I'm going to start to paint in the effect, lighting effect here. So I'd like it in a lot of parts of the image. Try to create a little bit of a halo around my subject here. Bigger brush. Now I like the sort of vignette that it created by virtue of having that circle, the spotlight circle, not be everywhere. So let's increase our dress and spots here. Add a little bit more around the face. Let's keep getting this area nice and vignetted. Okay, now I'm kind of attracted to this as it is, and any time that you are, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and click and save that state so you can find it again later, just in case I throw that out as a regular document, because you can do that with the history palette. Besides making new snapshots, you can, you can generate one of these history states into a full-blown document in and of itself. Now move our icon to the glow image, and rather than paint this in, what I want to do is explore some ways to use the fill command. We're going to go to our edit menu, the fill. You'll notice one of our choices is in fact history. We've got our foreground background color, but history is of course one of our options here. When I said I picked 20% for the glow. Now, we might want to do a little bit more than that, so let's revisit it again. Edit, fill. 
Let's do another 20%, so we get a much more intense effect. So in effect, we now have 40%. But one of the things that you can also do with the fill command is actually fade it, just like you can a filter. So we're going to go down to Edit, and we're going to go to Fade Fill. And at the same time, I want to explore using some of the, the blending modes here. I'm going to go into the Darken group. And just each time I choose a further one down the list, you see that the, the effect becomes a little bit more intense. Now with Color Burn, it's starting to get to a place where I really like it. Let's just see how Linear Burn looks. Also quite nice. But now it's darkened the image quite a bit. So what I want to do is bring back my opacity so it's not quite so intense. And so now I'm not only fading the effect of the original glowing edge effect, but I'm also fading the effect of the blending mode. So that to me looks the best out of all of them. And I'm going to get this one and actually make it a state as well. I'm going to call it final. Let's click on that. And again now we can sort of toggle between our original. This was our lighting effect we brought in. This was the glowing edges completely that way. And here's our final effect. So we'll toggle between the two. So I think you can see that you can quickly get to some places and also make use of filters that you probably wouldn't use otherwise in Photoshop by virtue of the fact that you can bring them in gradually, you can paint them in where you want them, you can fill them at opacity, and of course you can take advantage of the blend modes which can really give you a lot of range within these filter effects. So there we have the History Palette Part 2. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Creative Photoshop and I invite you to visit my website at www.johnruder.com to check out my own work and also the workshops that I teach in Photoshop around the country. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.